Hey everyone, today's July the 20th, 2013, and of course today was a huge day. Um, after the typical park, feed, order, and park, we had breakfast, which I didn't take her to. Um, and then immediately after that, we had to stay up in the dining room, or go and drop our dogs off if we had them, and then come back. And we got a ton of stuff, one of which um, I have here. It's our going home packet, and it's humongous. It's like a whole packet full of stuff. I know you can't really see that very well, but it's a ton of stuff, basically. Um, it's in Braille, that's why it's so huge. <laughs> well, most of it is, but... um has all sorts of information for us, um, talks about feeding and, like, changing the feedings or grooming or whatever we may need, as well as it has letters for the vet and, um, family and friends and employees and, um, uh, for people you're teaching, um, about guide dogs, just all, all sorts of resources in there. Um, so we got that first and went over it. And then we got our class photos, which, um, I got a, I believe it was like an 8x, eight 8x10 by, eight by of myself and Glenna, um, for free, and a Five by seven of the class for free and eight wallets of me and Glenna for free. And then I got a picture of me and my friends, which I had to pay for, um, or we had to pay for, but, um, so we got those, which was very exciting. Um, also one of the things in the going home packet we got was a sheet of paper that started off said said our dogs names their um like their numbers and all that kind of stuff but then below that it said razor and then it said the puppy razor's name or at least one of them um so i actually found out the name of one of her razors this morning and i found out where they're from and they're from the same place as some family um, of mine, um, well, near, near there, um, which was crazy, so I found out the name of one of the, the people, um, on, and everyone did, which was very cool, I didn't know, I thought it was gonna be, like, we found out in the middle of graduation when they did the, um, uh, puppy raising presentation. But I found out this morning, so it was very exciting. I'm not going to say names for sake of privacy um, for them. But it was very exciting. And, oh, and we got our IDs after that, after getting pictures and everything. And then we had to go back to, for, or to our rooms and put everything up because we had a ton of stuff. And then, um, on the, like, as soon as we got back in the room, we got more stuff. We got an extra tie-down, which is the one we get to keep, and a new cup, like a measuring cup for the food, um, and then dog food. Whew, sorry. Whew. Um, yeah, so we got that, and then we had to put everything up. And, let's see, and then we went a few minutes later and let the dogs out. Because after we let the dogs out, we went um, kind of across the street for Community Run. Which basically, if you don't know, if, um, it's basically when we go and it's a big fenced in area and everyone stands along the edge of the fence. Um... And 
all at once we let the dogs loose, like off-leash and everything, and they can just play with each other and do whatever, pretty much. Um, which was very, very, very exciting. I have been looking forward to this ever since I found out that we got to do this. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was very cool to see that she actually kept checking in with me. Or, like, coming back to me without me even having to call her or anything. Which was really cool. So she would, like, come up to me and hang out with me for a little bit. And then she'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go play some more. Um, which was really cool. And it was awesome to, to see her having so much fun. Um, then we came back from that. And... Let's see. We hung out, I think. We had to let the dogs out again a little bit later. Like, at the normal time. Um, and then we hung out for a little bit until lunch at 11.30. Because we had lunch early today. Um, yeah, and we had lunch. And then after lunch, we pretty much got ready. Which I actually didn't get start getting ready until, um, like, 12.00. 35 or so, um, because my family said they were going to be here around 12.30, but it came and they still weren't here, so I was like, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and get ready, um, and if they knock, then, you know, I'll just answer and then go back to getting ready or whatever, um, in a little bit, but, so I started getting ready, and then around 1.00, I had to go let her out again. They came around and knocked on the park doors. And um, then I, and so I let her out. And then I came back in. And a few minutes later, um, my family arrived. Which was very exciting. Because I had seen, you know, I had seen some of my family last weekend that was here again. But my immediate family was here, which was awesome because I've missed them so much and it's been driving me crazy not being able to see them, um, like I'm used to. And so it was so awesome to get to see them, but I only got to see them for like a, like a few minutes and then they had to leave again, um, but I at least got to say hi, which was really nice. Um, but a few minutes after they left, um, they came and knocked on our, our bedroom doors to get lined up for um, the order for graduation. And then we went in and had the actual ceremony. Um, I will say now, me and my friends um, sang A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. Um, Evidently, or supposedly, it had the whole audience in tears, which was actually our goal, because um, that means they felt the connection. So, it was awesome to hear that they really liked it. Um, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> but yeah, so we had the graduation, which was a lot of fun, and she actually did really well. Um... There was a couple times that I just kind of, you know, just kind of told her to stay because there was a little bit of activity going on um, with other dogs and everything. But she did fine. She stayed where she needed to be. Um, even during our performance where we were standing up and it was a little easier for her to do, you know, what she wanted or whatever, she still did fine. Um, which was really good because... While the community run was meant to make them tired, I already could tell she wasn't. <laughs> um, we came back and she rested for a little bit, and then we went out to park, and she was like, okay, let's play again. Um, but she still did really well. Um, and then after graduation, the um, puppy raisers got to come up to all of the graduates and introduce themselves, and we... Um, you know, got to talk and everything. And the dogs, of course, went nutso. <laughs> she, she was probably the most hyper dog there. 
but I expected that, and <laughs> I was prepared. Um, luckily, luckily she wasn't vocal, but she was very, very, very hyper, and, you know, that's understandable. She was excited to see them, and she's obviously very attached, which I, you know, it's obvious, it's, that's obviously gonna happen. Um, so it didn't bother me or whatever, because I know that's just how it is. And eventually that's how it is gonna be with me too, so. Um, yeah, I got to meet her razors. It was very cool. They were all really nice, and it was just awesome to, to see, um, you know, where she came from and everything. Um, so we got to hang out with them, and it was very cool. I know she enjoyed it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we hung out for a while, and then a little after that, um, my, um, all the razors left, and then my family and I went on the kennel tour, where we got to see, um, the dogs that are in the kennels, like, for, that are here for training, um, for future classes. Um, so we got to do that, which was pretty cool. But, I don't know. It, it was a bunch of black and yellow dogs. But, I mean, if it had been puppies, it would have been awesome. But it was still really cool to get to see all the dogs. Um, and then we came back here and kind of hung out until 4 o'clock, which was the feed water and park time. Um, oh, um, and then after that we left and went and had dinner. We actually ended up, we went to dinner and sat down, and we had just gotten our food, and a couple of other students from our class actually came and sat down at the table next to us, which was crazy, because we didn't plan it this way, and we didn't say where we were going or anything. It just happened um, by chance. But it was really good food, so we went back. It was the same place we went to last weekend. Um, uh, so we went back this time. And I, I got the lasagna last time I got fettuccine, but I got lasagna this time. And it was really good. Um, but that's not important. Um, um, yeah. So we did that. And then, I apologize, this is really shaky. Um, um, and then we went and got ice cream, which was really good um, as well. Uh, it could have been a little better, but it was it was still really good, and I love ice cream, so I'll take it. Um, and then, after that, we had to come back for the 7.30 part time. And, um, then we actually left again and went back to where my family was staying and went swimming, which was awesome, because I thought that I wasn't going to get to go swimming um, until I got back home, but I actually got to go swimming tonight, and I really enjoyed it. That's actually why my hair is kind of, um, a disaster. Um, it's all gross still, but, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I came back here, um, a little after ten. I really didn't want to go because it's like I know I'm gonna see I'm gonna see them again tomorrow, but it's still like with my my parents and my brother. It's like they just I just got to see them and now they're having to leave again, um, even though it's just for the night. It's still like I don't want I don't want you to leave again, um, but I'll see them tomorrow. Um, so I hung out in my room for a few minutes and then my friends came and knocked on my door and wanted to hang out. So I did for a little bit, but, um, didn't stay, or we didn't stay too long, because we all knew we needed to go to bed. Um, and I have a lot going on tomorrow, so. And I knew I still had to make this video, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. Um, but yeah, so I just got back from here, or from there, I mean. And oddly enough, the crazy thing is, while she's been in her crate, like, the biggest part of today, we came in, and she still went straight back to her crate. Like, she's already asleep again. Even though she's pretty much been cooped up all day because I've been, um, off campus, and I can't take her with me. Um, she's not allowed to leave with me. 
without like instructors or anything, of course, until um, I actually go home. Uh, which stinks, but I don't know. It's understandable. So, yep, get to see my family again tomorrow. Um, yeah, I get to see them again tomorrow, and I'm really excited about that. Um, we get to spend, like, 10.30 to 4, and then if they want, 4 to 7.30, and 7.30 to, like, 10 together. Um, you know, the 4 and 7.30 are part-times, but, um, other than that, we pretty much can spend the day together, and it's very very exciting but yeah I think that's pretty much it and I will talk to y'all tomorrow